OTAN Outreach and Technical Assistance Network So good morning again. Thank you so much for joining this workshop. Um, um, I believe uh, some of you may know me and my name is Farzana Kasim. Melinda already introduced you. I am one of the O10 um, SMEs, which, which means um, subject matter expert. And I also work as a um, um, tech advisor at Evans Community Adult School, which is part of Los Angeles Unified School District. Those of you who are joining from LAUSD, hello, you guys. I know you who you are. But the rest of you, welcome to this workshop. And let me go ahead and start with this workshop. Can you see this slide, on Melinda? Yes. Thank Zoom you. Meet Teams. That's right. This workshop is um, the workshop title is called Zoom, Google Meet and Microsoft Teams. We are going to take a look at three video conferencing platforms and it's a lot to go on, but I will try my very best to make them clear, um, each one clear, and then we'll go over it. All right. So you do not need to have any um, anything installed uh, or, you know, for um, for you to join me at the end of, or not at the end, maybe two thirds of the way uh, of the workshop, you may you can join me or you can just simply watch um, my screen. So let's go ahead and uh, before that, I just want to make sure again, these three icons, you should all be now familiar with. Zoom has a blue icon. Google Meet hasn't decided what color to go with, so it is going all over. And Teams is staying firm with the purplish color. So just, you know, I didn't be able to identify um, each uh, icon. The reason is on my slides, um, I'm gonna have a little, um, icon of each one on each slide. So in case you're wondering, wait, what is she talking about? Is she talking about Google Meet or is she talking about Zoom or is she talking about Teams? Please quickly take a look at my slides on the top and you will see what topic I'm talking about. Sometimes, you know, we doze off or sometimes we just disappear from the workshop <laughs> or <laughs> due to some reason. So in that case, please just um, know that I will have little icons on each slide. All right, let's be, um, get to it. Today's objectives are, we are going to look at what each video conferencing platform can do because we gotta know what each one can do. We heard of Zoom, we heard of Meet, we heard of Teams. Some of you have already used one or all or some. So in that case, at least we should know what each one can do. Not that we, you know, we have to use all, we can, we can use whichever one we want to or whichever one your organization or your district um, ask you to use. Next, we are going to take a look at the meeting controls. Although, um, because most of, most of us are teachers or you know, um, work for organizations and schools, school districts that we deal with students or our coworkers, in that case, we will have meetings or online teaching. And when it happens, you gotta know your meeting controls, what the what control buttons are there for each and every one. So that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna compare meeting controls. First, it will be on Google Meet. Next, we will compare meeting controls on, the um, Microsoft Teams, and then lastly, Zoom. We don't really have to go because I noticed, well, we will go, still go over it, but I noticed that most majority of you have used Zoom. So in that case, we, you should be now familiar with many meeting controls. We'll try our best to, I'll try our be my best to show you, um, show you the meeting controls of each and every one. Then, Lastly, we are going to, you are going to join, if you wish, um, to my uh, Google Meet. So I tried going, um, opening a Google Meet or, you know, hosting a Google Meet while I was in Zoom and it worked very well. I was not expecting, but it worked. And also I tried going to Google, uh, sorry, Microsoft Teams while I was in Zoom and that was also working. So it, I would like to take you there. So in case you want to, some days, you know, like you may be attending a meeting 
uh, on Zoom, and then you also need to be uh, to, to attend or want to attend a Microsoft team meeting, you can have both of the both worlds or you know three worlds if you wish so that's what we are going to do okay oh the last one should be um teams not google meet there it goes you know so let's get started with google meet before i go on um if anyone has um, any questions for now, you know, if the question is quick and you want to answer, you want me to answer um, any, uh, uh, you know, question, any answer from any of the slides, please um, go ahead and ask because I will be looking at the Q&A as well as chat. Um, I'm, if I, I have a little um, uh, disability. If I cannot see human being faces, I get nervous. So when it happens, I may talk quite fast. When it happens, please do help me by asking me, can you please slow down so I can catch you? Or can you please you know, uh, repeat this or that? Please feel free to um, do that for me. Either you can put it on chat or a Q&A and Melinda will um, take care of it for me, I believe. And she will um, stop me or uh, tell me. Okay, Melinda? Absolutely. Thank you. All right, Google Meet. According to this website, which is the legit website of Google, is that Google Meet is an enterprise grade video conferencing app. Of course, each you know company will always boast their work. So the Google Meet says there it's you know great enterprise grade video conferencing app, and it allows you to connect and collaborate. Of course, that is you know pretty much most of most video conference tools. Uh, conferencing tool um, does so and also anyone can join with a link this is true you know for pretty much other things you know other video conferencing tool or app it works entirely in a browser here is the winner it works entirely in a browser or download a mobile app. When I say mobile app, of course, you all know either it's for um, iPad or iPhone or Android phones, right? So in that case, you need to go and download the Google Meet app onto your cell phone or to your tablets. That's how, how cool um, Google Meet can do. Just to let you know, you do not need to have desktop app. You do not have a desktop app, in fact. You simply go to the website, you sign in, you host right there. Or if you are joining, you simply click on the link that the, the host sends you and you go from there, nothing to do. So that's what Google, Google Meet does. And it, it hosts, um, it can host secure high quality video meetings right from your calendar or email. Yes, those of you who are using Google email, those Gmail or those of you who are using Google calendar, you don't need to get out of your calendar. You don't need to get out of your email. You can just right there from your email. If your colleague um, uh, you know, needs help and, and you need to show them right away, and, see a you know a be in a video conference right in the email you can go ahead and do that or in the calendar so you can share and next what you can do is you can share your video your desktop and presentations with teammates and customers when i say share it means you all know about share content right on zoom those of you who use zoom um you know you can share your content if your host um allows you or if not you you as a host can share content right so same thing with google meet it allows you to do it why don't we take a look at um last item on this list is that you can record meetings and where will those meeting uh, videos go they will go to google drive most of you know about google drive because melinda has been giving all kinds of workshops on google 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 so in that case you heard of google drive it is right there in the google drive and so you are welcome to use it um, uh, you know you can go and look for that video recorded video right there that's how it is Let's, since we talk about Google, we are talking about Google Meet, we need to take a, a look at the meeting controls. Once you start hosting or once you join the um, Google Meet meeting, you will see a screen like this. As you can see, I don't have so many people in my house, only I, me and my, myself uh, when I do my work. So 
left side and right side, both pictures are me. So that means one is you, you in this case would be either, it could be the host or you joining as a, a member. So that's in the middle of the screen. And let's take a look at each and every control because I have, a, I, I have, you know, I teach myself this way. You gotta be a Sherlock Holmes to understand each and everything, not just glance at it. Let's take a look at each and every button. What can they do? Once you understand what each thing can do, then it is easier for you to learn, um, you know, faster. So as you can see, I just put a one on the bottom where it says test. Just to let you know, when you are in Google Meet, when you start hosting or when you are in a meeting, you might want to know what topic, what workshop is this or what, what you know, is it a tech office hours or is it a, uh, you know, a workshop or what, uh, is it an advisor's meeting or whatever. So that's the title of your meeting, no matter what you type, whether in a capital letters or whether in, in a, you know, a proper letters, whatever it is that proper case that you you type uh, for your um, meeting, it does not matter. The Google Meet will change it to all lowercase. So don't sweat your time, you know, typing up a proper letter in capital O, T, A, N with, you know, all, all uppercase. It's not going to work. It will still be lowercase O, T, A, N. So just to let you know, don't think that you type you know, capital letters T over here, and yet it is showing lowercase t. Don't sweat on it. It will still be lowercase. This area, as I told you, is the, the, what, the title of your meeting. So that's what it's called. And now, so when you were to click on it, you will see details such as, um, you know, uh, if you put the time, the date, the link, the password and all those things, it will be the password to join the link, uh, join the meeting, those will be there. And the cool thing about Google Meet in this case is that when you send out a link, an invitation, you can actually attach agenda or files that you will be using, files you will be sharing, all those things can be attached together. Whatever things that you attach ahead of time for your attendees to take a look at it beforehand, that's all those things will pop up over here. So you simply have to click on it and look for it. Next, we are going to look at uh, uh, this uh, the little blue shield. This blue shield in Zoom will be known as security uh, uh, button, right? However, in Google Meet, it is called host controls. We're going to take a look at it when we get to the uh, live demo. Of course, as you can see, the microphone is right there. So we are all familiar with that microphone. Microphone on or off. So when you want to speak, you go ahead and turn it on. As you can see, this one is not um, turned off because it means I'm, you know, its microphone is on. So be uh, pay, pay attention to it. If you see a, a slash or you know um, a, a design, that one that tells you that it is micro. The microphone is off. Next, you will see leave call. I know it either true to be told. I see it as an odd place, but if you look at it from the from the uh, cell phone point of view the microphone is on the left in the middle is the um, you know the, the the end the phone call or the uh, leave the phone call so that makes sense but we are so familiar with zoom so we used to see a leave button on the bottom right corner so in this case it took me a while to find the leave call. So just letting you know the leave call means to end if you are a host, you are ending a meeting. That's what it means. Or if you are a participant, you are leaving the meeting. So that's what it means here. Number five is that we can turn on our camera on or off. So we can turn on the camera or off the camera. So it is up to you. In this case, Google Meet, um, in, in, in this particular meeting um, uh, on the screen, I have it, I have my video camera off because there is a little no sign or a slash across the, um, the icon, as you can see. Next, we have raised hand. 
as the image says, raise hand, right? So it is going to raise hand means when you have a question or, or if you have to say something, you can go ahead and raise hand. One cool thing about, um, you know, many of these uh, Google Meet or Teams or any of these video conferencing app, what they do is that they, they, they have all these, you know, written out title, label, and image. It's really easy, no brainer, no brainer things for us, right? We can just take a look at it. We are familiar with these type of icons. So we, we cannot go wrong with, um, you know, following all these, using these tools. Turn on captions. Who wouldn't want that? Most of us are testing it now with Zoom. So I love having turn on captions. So that is something you might want to use, especially if you are teaching ESL students or there are certain information that you want your students to read and hear you, then you might want to turn on captions. Present now is next. Present now means share your content, just like in Zoom. You share your content, right? You share a YouTube site or you share a, 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 a document or a handout or a website of anything that you want to. That's what it's called, present now. Number nine on the list is that those three dots, let me quickly show you that three, the, the three dots again, in case you cannot see it, can you make sure that um, you look down on the uh, bottom right corner of your screen, that's where you will see the three dots. The three dots are known as ellip uh, more options or ellipses, right? So, but anytime you see those three dots, we are we all know that there are more options just like this, more options. When you were to click, you will see these options. Just quickly take a look at it. If you are familiar with Zoom, you know about Whiteboard. In Google Meet, they don't, they are not, it is not built in Google Meet. You have to use a Whiteboard called Jamboard. They call it Jam board. And then, of course, you have change layout, you have full screen, you want to make it a full screen, so from, you are familiar with these type of layout and screen, and you can change background. When it says change background means your virtual background, or you can have, you know, a, a blur background or stuff. Turn on caption is exactly the same as that you see on list number seven. And of course, there are a few other stuff that you may be, you may want to use. That's for number nine. And then on the top, as you can see on the top, um, top right corner, you will see a grid view. And that grid view has the two to be told, it has a lot more settings than that you want. So those of you, let me go back up a little. Well, those of you who want to use grid view settings, grid view setting is not automatically um, uh, built in in the, in the um, Google Meet, you have to download the extension called Google um, Grid View. Once you download it, you will be able to see this. So that's just one thing I would like to remind you since this video is being recorded, um, you know, uh, if you were to watch it again, just remember you may need to download an extension called Google Grid View. So that way you will get the different type of grid views. And then on um, the next item is called show everyone. They don't call it participants. In Zoom webinar or meetings or uh, teams, they call it participants, right? But in here, they do not call it participant. It's just called show everyone, means whoever is, uh, whoever is attending this meeting. This little one on, uh, uh, next to it, next to the uh, show everyone is called chat. It looks like a chat button, right? A talk bubble button. So that one means that you can chat with your colleagues or your host within this meeting, of course. And on the last one on the uh, uh, meeting controls uh, on this screenshot is called pin. So you can pin your picture right on, on the top if you wish to. So that is the area you might want to explore too. The Tutubito is just too, um, too many things around that number 13 uh, area, but still all it can do is it, can, it allows you to pin. So 
you just got a chance to, those of you who have not seen Google Meet or tested or attempted to try, uh, you just got a view of a simple, a clear view of all the tools and lists of, you know, things that they offer, the features or tools that they offer in that Google Meet. So I am now looking at the Q&A and I don't see any Q&A, so it seems everything is okay, right, Melinda? We did have one question um, that I answered Oops, the, okay. as far as leaving. Uh -huh. um, if someone hits the leave button, is there a two-step process where they're asked to confirm if they want to leave? And the answer is no, but there is a, it's, the person is taken to a page where they can rejoin. Yes. So if they make the mistake of, oh, you know, I didn't really mean to leave, mm -hmm. you can always rejoin. I'm not sure what happens. Actually, I am sure what happens. Um, Farzan, I'm gonna hand it off to you. If you end the meeting as the host, mm -hmm. what happens? You will be, actually, you will have to join again. You have to join now. What happens so to I, everybody else though? Oh, good question. Because I, when I was testing it, I myself was alone <laughs> to test it. <laughs> I believe everyone's so, <laughs> kicked out. <laughs> it has to be, wouldn't it be? Because yes. the host has the host has ended the meeting just like Zoom. But if you were to immediately go back, and I believe mm -hmm. all of you still be able to come in because that's how it is in Zoom. So yes. I am curious now. So what I am actually, I like that, uh, uh, Melinda, is that I am going to take you all to Google Meet now. There's a few who would like to join because um, in terms of Google Meet, that's all I want to show. And I want to actually take you to Google Meet. And I'm going to start, uh, stop sharing here to take you to the, uh, the website itself. So that way we can see and, 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 and see, you know, those, the question can be answered. So let me quickly share. Oh, I just got a chat. Is there anything I can, I need to read or? Oh, okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and open this. Here is the website. I am going to go to Google Meet. Just like Google Meet, uh, sorry, not unlike Zoom, you don't have to have the uh, desktop you know, client, you don't have to do anything. All you have to remember, if you wish to remember is, or put a, pay, uh, put a bookmark is that Meet, dot google.com that's the website that's all you need to remember you can simply make it a, a works uh, you know um, a, a bookmark or a desktop shortcut no problem but for me i like to type it out so meet.google.com and voila you are here that's it as simple as that seriously if you are hosting that's all you have to do and you just type in meet.google.com and you don't have much going on here uh, um, i am not much of an art person for me so, and any of these abstract or any kind of art they, they, they you know they they, they, they don't do, they're not inviting to me. So um, that's the uh, downside for Google Meet uh, for me. Um, that's, you know, there's nothing going on here. It tells you the time is 9.35, Tuesday, December 1st. And if you want to go ahead and track, you know, conversation or something in here, somehow it says track, but it, what it does is it takes you to the uh, uh, meeting quality and statistics. That's what it is, not conversation, but track meeting quality and statistics, what's happening there. And then here, it tells you settings. I'm sure all of us are very much familiar with setting wheel where it allows you to um, change, you know, adjust your microphone or change your microphone from one to the other. As you can see, I have four, exactly, you know, actually, I only have two, uh, two different ones. One is Lo uh, Logitech, and the other one is um, uh, cameras, a uh, built-in microphone. And same thing with the speakers. You can go ahead and select. So if you have any issue with your microphone or you want to test it ahead of time, you might want to come over here to the settings. And then over here, it will tell you send feedback. So if you have any, you know, if you have time to go ahead and give them feedback, you're welcome to go ahead and use it. And of course, as you can see the avatar, my avatar is on the top right. The avatar is my little profile area where I can, you know, either um, switch the account or um, see what account I am using. That's where it is. But right now we are not in a meeting yet. We have not started a meeting yet. We have not joined a meeting yet. So if you were to join as a, 
as a participant, of course, you've got to have a meeting ID. So then you simply click join. But if you are going to start a meeting as a host, you simply click on the same the same button, no matter whatever you do, whether whichever, you know, whether you joining as a host or joining as a participant, you simply click on this one. Seriously, nothing else. Once you are ready, if you are, it says enter meeting code or nickname. So it means you, you can go ahead and start typing it. But in my case, what I'm doing is I'm going to create a whole meeting. I'm going to call it um, Meet Meeting. Please watch. I have, I have a capital M and capital um, M for both of them, right? Meet Meeting. It's quite descri descriptive, huh? <laughs> Click continue. And now, do you think I am already in? Sort of. I am not really on, in yet. I am in the meeting, but I have not really opened anything, any meeting for you guys to join. So bottom line is you take a look at it. Okay, here is my camera. As you can see, the virtual background, the truth to be told is it does not look uh, good uh, uh, for me on Google Meet and I seriously don't like it. But this is the Google Meet um, virtual background, which I, I was allowed to change. And now if I do not want to take a look at quickly, the meeting controls that you saw, it's not, are not this one, okay? So this one is simply to turning off the microphone and here is turning off the camera. Now here is the virtual background. If I were to change to any other backgrounds, I can go ahead and do that. Let's take a look at it. I always love kitchen. So why don't I have the kitchen in the background as if I owned it, right? So now I am ready. Do you notice here, it says meet meeting one. What happened to my capital letter or a uppercase? And what happened to my space? So don't sweat on it as I told you here. Sadly, it says no one else is here. Oh, bummer. That means I better start telling people to join, right? So once I click join now, it says here, add others, meet meeting one. So here is the difference between Zoom. Those of you who are using Zoom, you all are familiar with personal meeting ID number or some kind of Zoom meeting ID number. Those are numbers, not alphanumericals or alphabets. But here, as you can see, Google Meet, they their meeting ID is always letters. So you just have to remember it's the letters. So those of you who wish to join, please go to meet dot google.com and then go ahead and click join and type this id number in and um if Rosanna, i we're having a hard time seeing that id number i know can Could i put it copy in the it chat? and paste yes copy it and thank paste it in chat would be a great idea thank you i just did and enter okay that's the link and then i'm going to just copy the id those of you who want to join just by typing it, there you go. And if you were asked a pin number is, oops, hold on. And here, that's the pin number. The bottom one is pin number. So someone wants to join this call, Penny Pearson is here. If I wish to, if you are looking at my screen, if I do not know who Penny Pearson is, I can deny the entry and perfect Penny. <laughs> and now if I were to admit her, then I would just say, yes, click admit. So now Penny is in. And so as you can see, Penny is in and the rest of um, uh, Barry is also in. That's how you can join. But just look at it, how, how I am so excited. I am in Zoom meeting and now I'm in, two, in, uh, in Google Meet and I feel like I'm, I'm like a two timers over here. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> so that's one. Oh, I still, somebody said, I still don't see the uh, code in the chat. Um, Okay, yes, if you are hearing me twice, can you all do me a favor, please go ahead and mute um, from both, you know, both Zoom and um, Google Meet. That would be something that you can do. So, okay, good, that's good. At least I can see a few of you are here. Why don't we all take a look at the meeting controls that I just mentioned to you on, on my slides, okay? So, if I am, if my mouse is moved into the middle, uh, you know, somewhere on the screen, I will see the bottom bar or dashboard like bar um, with 
the, the meeting controls. The one on the left side says meet meeting one, as I told you before, that's the area with the meeting details, right? The details about that meeting. And then if I have, um, Oh, I, so as you see here, it says someone is trying to join and close it. So now I can get everyone and I can admit everyone. So you just have to just pay attention to get out of a window where if you are in a tool or something, and then people can come in once you, ad yes, once you admit, hi, <laughs> and Anthony is there. There you go, that's good. So that's the meeting area where you can get, and at attachments is where you can put your attachments and everything else, yeah? So as I told you before, you can definitely go ahead and put, you know, your agenda or files or anything that you want to share with your colleagues. As you can see, all of you are also uh, two timing over here, one on Zoom and one on Google Meet. So if you were to do it in the future, next time don't say, oh, I cannot attend because I'm in a Zoom meeting. No, if it is a Google Meet, go attend it. Oh, well, of course, if you can swap your attention, you know, back and forth. So here it says someone else wants to join. So now let's go to the next control over here. It tells you the little blue shield tells you what you can do. So we can take a look at it. And those of you, of course, I'm not going to go over in detail. The reason is we can in the future, if you are interested in Google Meet workshop, we'll would definitely go over it. As you can see over here, we have a microphone and a leave call, which I mentioned it. If I were to leave now, I'm so curious to leave. So I will leave in a minute. Um, I want to quickly go over the camera. As you can see, here is a camera. Raise hand feature. Can somebody raise some hand for me? And then um, go ahead. Hey, you go. It says Mimi uh, Mildred Young has just raised hand. Okay, wonderful. You guys did that. So that's how you can simply do it, right? Now, turn on captions. If I were to turn on the captions, Anthony, hi, everyone. <laughs> made it. Okay, turn on captions. And I still don't see my captions. I'm not sure why. Or can somebody see the uh, caption? There you go. To turn on the captions and the knee, of course, my pronunciation is not that great, so it didn't catch it. But Google should know well because Google and I've been talking in the house for a while. It should understand my my um, uh, my pronunciation and all. That's cool thing about captions. Okay. Next one I mentioned to you is present now. If so, if any of you are joining and playing with all these tools. Welcome to go ahead and click if whatever buttons that you see. I'm going to click on present now. Imagine I'm presenting to you guys on Zoom and now I'm going to present another window. It tells you what tab you want to to, to you know, um, share. So in that case, if I were to share this second tab over here, I would simply click on it and click share. So I am sharing within the sharing. Pretty neat, huh? Um, now I have to figure out how to get out. <laughs> so I'm going to go back over here. Remember, Google Meet is using the browser. So don't look for the desktop icon. Where is my Google Meet? Where is the meeting? I can find the meeting. Where did it go? It did. It is not going anywhere. It is within your browser right over here on the top left. It tells you that Google Meet meeting is going on. All right. So that's how it is. Now, once I'm done with it, I can stop presenting. So I'm no longer presenting within Google Meet. And if you take a look at the three dots, you see all these um, options. And of course, I am um, on the top, you have three more, four more tools, which I talked about. Somebody chatted with me. So let's quickly take a look at chat. Anthony said, hi, everyone, we made it. You see, and someone by the name of uh, from um, Asian American Resource Center has a raised hand. So I will simply click on that person and I can just go ahead and do a few things over here. If you look at it, I can pin that um, uh, the person. So that means that person will be pinned only that. So sometimes you might want to do that when you want to hear only the speakers, when you want to see only the sp speakers, or if you want to remove that, um, the, uh, the person or um, uh, any attendee, you simply go to each and every, uh, you know, attendee, the attendee that you want, and you can simply go ahead and remove someone. That's what uh, you can do. So 
participants, we have 12 people participated out of 23 people, well, out of 22 people, 12 people are here. So that's how you can check the participants. So um, it is so nice to see you guys on Google Meet while we are in Zoom meeting. I now want to accidentally leave the call and see what happens. Now, as you can see, it says you left the meeting. I rejoin. Once I click rejoin, and now I click join now. Did you notice 11 of you are still here? Did you notice now all of you? Hello? Can you all hear someone? Can you hear me? Yes, we're still uh, in the meeting. That's right. So what happened was I accidentally clicked on leave now and within a few seconds I realized it. So I click rejoin now and all of you are still waiting. So in my opinion, oh, I cannot, I should not say my opinion, which I have to do more research on that is I wonder if maybe within certain minutes I am allowed to come back in, uh, you know, sometimes our um, internet is slow or, you know, something must have happened. In that case, things can happen. So just you get, just look at it. How cool is that? I leave, a, I leave the call, yet all of you are still here. So this time I will definitely leave the call and nice to see all of you here in Google Meet. And let's go back to Zoom and head out to the next um, topic. All right, let's leave the call. And as you can see, I am back over here and I'm going to simply stop sharing my Google Meet window and I'm back to Zoom. And I hope I have I did not lose anyone over there. <laughs> yes. All right, let's go to um, let me quickly look at the Q&A. We have no Q&A. So Melinda, can I go on to the next one? Yes, Oops, I think I'm on back? a. I can hear. Yes. Um, okay. Good. <laughs> I'm just letting you know I'm on a different device, oh, and yes. um, I am still in the meeting. <laughs> oh, you're so still you in the it, meet. But there might, oh, I know there might be a setting or something. Yes, I am still. Actually, I did leave the meeting, but here is one last thing. I have to close the browser. So please, as of you who are taking a note, can you remember, uh, please remember to close the browser. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my browser window again. Remember I left the meeting, yet some of you were still there. So that are still there. So that means if I were to rejoin, I can rejoin and see you all, or I simply have to close the browser. Once I close the browser, <laughs> Are you gone? No, Marin and I are still here. <laughs> okay, you guys Marin, are I'm really sorry. sticky. <laughs> yeah, I have no, yes, okay, so. Um, interesting. It is interesting because from my end, I have ended everything. So it is something I really have to look into that. Uh, Melinda, is there any Google Meet experts here? Who can uh, actually, some light? Uh, this should have ended the meeting. So there might be a setting somewhere that we're missing, or maybe Google has updated like last night, which <laughs> they do without telling yes. us. And there's just something that needs to be fixed. Anthony just rejoined the meeting because the ID is still current. Oh, so wow. we have to okay. figure that out because that's not a good thing. <laughs> That's right. But the good thing is, it means if you are interested in Google Meet workshop, definitely we can go, we can do the Google Meet workshop. And meanwhile, I will have more um, uh, settings changes or if there are any updates or anything else that Google Meet has decided to, you know, share with us, then of course I would, uh, I can, um, uh, you know, go over those information during the Google workshop. But for now, you just got a taste of Google Meet. Um, so if you feel like that um, if, uh, in a chat, if you don't mind, click on the chat and and quickly let me know either you just either yes, no, maybe or something that um, that, uh, uh, you know, is this your, like you for your first time Google Meet and and you got a little taste of it. And if it was good enough for you, please say yes. If it is not good enough for you yet, and you would like another workshop maybe in the future, and of course, um, uh, Melinda is all ears. <laughs> all right. For um, so that's within the Zoom. We went to Google Meet and we did what we did, right? So now let's go 
if we if you are ready for the next topic, which is Microsoft Teams, because today's workshop is just briefly going over each and every one. We're not digging in in details or troubleshooting any other issues. So we are. Let's go ahead and and take a look at the Microsoft Teams now. And here is another world. You just came, you are still in Zoom world, went to Google Meet world, and now I'm taking you to another world. Um, uh, then, then another world that I am going to talk about is Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams, according to this website by Microsoft, of course, Microsoft website, is that team allows you to meet of course, meet means online, chat, call, and collaborate in just one place, just one place, just like, you know, a Google Meet does. Virtually sit in a shared background. So basically, just like you all are here in my share, in my, uh, you know, um, Zoom work webinar. So that's what it is, as if we are all in the same room. I saw my uh, three of my LAUSD um, uh, colleagues here. I feel like they are in their own uh, home. Yet, I can feel that my, my colleagues are here with me. Instantly go from group chat to video call with a touch of a button. Seriously, it's right there when you are chatting. And then right up there, I'm going to take you to the meeting controls. You will see it. Then you can see, according to Microsoft, they really, really boast that they are, sec they are really secure. Their uh, app is excellent and their app is secure. And so, um, you know, that's what they say. So they say it's securely connected. Access, you can connect and access and share and co-author files in real time. Note the, these two words, co-author files in real time. What it means in here is that you, Microsoft is, uh, Office 365 is part of Microsoft. Microsoft allows you to share your files that you have on your OneDrive, your Google, your Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, things that you're working with, your group, your projects, your, your colleagues and everyone that you can co-author within that Google, uh, sorry, Microsoft Teams. That's what it means in here. Stay organized by keeping notes, documents, and your calendar together. These are really heavy duty stuff. And I really will, um, uh, wouldn't mind having a workshop just on Microsoft Teams so we can go deeper um, uh, onto all, any of these uh, bullet points that I'm making here. And you can easily, uh, Microsoft Teams um, uh, boasts that you can easily find, share, and edit files in real time using familiar apps like Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Of course, it's all Microsoft. So Microsoft Teams allow, uh, app allows you to, um, you know, work on all any, any of these apps and more. All right. So. Why don't we take a look at Microsoft Teams meeting controls. Before I take you to meeting controls, I will briefly stop this share because I want to show you the Microsoft, uh, which one I want to show here, Microsoft Team over here, Teams I'm opening. Um, Melinda, can you tell me what you see? Or did I lose everybody? Can everyone see Microsoft Teams? You are allowed yes. to go. Okay, good. So you can see Microsoft Teams. I just opened the desktop version, uh, sorry, desktop app called Microsoft Teams. This is how Microsoft Teams uh, uh, um, will look like. It's a desktop version, okay? So once on the left side, I have several tools or icons. Those are known as activity, chat, as you are not familiar with, teams, you can create your own team and groups, assignments, if you have any kind of assignments that you are using with your students, that's mainly is for the you know classrooms um, setting. You might want to look into that if you are interested in. And calendar, of course, here, whatever calendar that you have, that is connected to it, it will show up. And here is calls. I can make a phone call at speed dial or whatever if I need to make a phone call. Files that my 
I have files that I saved up on my OneDrive. All of these are shown here because I connected OneDrive over here. As you can see, OneDrive is part of Microsoft Office, right? So this is all Microsoft related stuff. Microsoft team also allows you to go and get more apps if you wish to. So that's how you know Microsoft team desktop app would look like. But let's say I'm interested in starting a meeting. So if I were to start a meeting, of course, if I were chatting with, for example, if I were chatting with Penny uh, in Microsoft Teams here, and suddenly, uh, you know, I could not understand what Penny is saying, and she uh, she needs to show me some kind of you know document for Zana. This is how it looks like, and she can actually start a meeting right there and right there on the top right with those icons right there. So she can simply start video call and we can be in a meeting. So before I do the real video call, I'm going to go ahead and show you the, the tools that we should um, uh, be familiar with, what Microsoft Teams meeting controls will look like. So right now, I just shared Microsoft Teams meeting controls on my PowerPoint. Um, is this the correct point, uh, correct page you're looking at, uh, Melinda? Meeting controls? Or can I'm somebody- seeing meeting that? controls, yes. With the Very lead. good, thank you. Yeah, because I feel like I have a delay somewhere. So that's the reason I want to make sure that I'm showing the correct screen. So Microsoft Teams meeting control has all these that's all you see. Whatever it is that you see, once you are you start hosting, that's what you're gonna see. Once you are in the Microsoft Teams meeting meeting, you will see these tools. So let's take take a look at what those tools are. Number one, do you see those little uh, uh, you know uh, 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 two people like that means participants. So it is you know straightforward. Next one is it looks like a talk bubble. So it will it must be chat. Yep. It is chat. The next one is the raise hand. It's, it has a little hand raising, right? So that's pretty cool. The next one is, as you know, these companies cannot make up their mind either to make it vertical or horizontal. So one is for vertical. This company is horizontal now. The three dots, just remember the three dots means more options. As you can see, plenty more options over here that you can go. So. Uh, in this case, if you were to invite somebody and you do not remember your own meeting ID number, you simply click on meeting details. So you might want to take a look at three dots, open it, see what else it can do. So we can gonna we, so you can see what else you you know you can do. So next we can do uh, we can look at the icon called video camera. At this time, this video camera is off. So you can turn it on by pressing that same button. And next, you have microphone on or off. Again, the location of these, uh, you know, uh, each item, each button, it's just, they have to vary. Otherwise they'll be in, in court saying, you know, that you copy my, uh, my, my, my layout. So each company is changing their layout. As you can see, Zoom you has, uh, Zoom has mic uh, microphone on the left and video camera on the right. Team has a video camera on the left and microphone on the right. So don't worry about those things. As you know, you, you the picture um, uh, can tell you, the icon tells you pretty much a lot. Um, there is a question, do you need to have a team before you can start a meeting? No, you can just go ahead and start with, uh, you know, your colleagues within it. And um, the truth to be told, I have yet to really dig into team because team has never been that inviting to me <laughs> as Zoom is. So we may have to, when we get to the, um, when we get to the uh, live demo, we will take a look at it share content just like zoom and google meet you can go ahead and share your content or your screen or your anything that you would like to share with your uh, your attendees you can go ahead and share content last one is called leave it's of course 
if you see a down arrow, it means there are two options, right? So the two options would be leave the meeting or leave, uh, you know, leave the leave the um, leave as in, you know, entirely that you leave. So that is something that you might want to look into. That that's pretty much straightforward meeting controls that uh, Microsoft Teams have. But let me click here. Let me now open Google Team and share the Google Team page with you. I am now back in Google Team and I am, I have a, I have somebody called Tuzar. It's also uh, my clone, but just, you know, it's just another name. But if I were to start a meeting and I can just be here. I open my desk browser. I'm a desktop, not browser, sorry, desktop uh, client that you have to download. You download it to your uh, Microsoft Teams. Those of you who you may have noticed back in, um, I think it's like May, April or May, you started to notice that when you started to notice Microsoft Teams, since you, if you're using Microsoft um, Windows laptop or desktop, you notice that Microsoft Teams was installed with part of the uh, Windows updates. And then you are like, what is this thing? What is this thing? Why is it coming up every single time I turn it on? That's what it is. Microsoft included that team um, in there. So due to that reason, you, ha you have Microsoft Teams. For a few months, I was so disturbed by that. So I, I simply install uninstalled it. But then again, I said, I need to be open minded because I'm also an educator. So I should not short, you know, uh, short things down. So then I said, why don't I reinstall it? And I'm giving a just to let you know, for the record, I do not like Microsoft Teams. However, I am giving a chance for it to teach me, for it to teach me just for the sake of learning. I am, I am using it. So Microsoft Teams is here and I'm ready to go ahead and start with the video call. So if I were to start, I would simply go to the top right where there are a few icons um, that will allow me to make a phone call or just simply make an audio call or share the content, screen sharing type. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on video call. As you can see, So can you all see, did you notice that I just called someone by the name of Tuzar? So that means I, I am calling this particular team member called Tuzar Win, but she didn't answer at all. Where is she, I wonder. So now if you were to go ahead and if you are going to call um, to answer the question, do you need to have a team before you can start a meeting? The answer is yes. I now have a meeting. I have a meeting, uh, sorry, I now have a team call uh, this, this team. I believe I call this team Farzana and her clones. So I have my, <laughs> It's only me just to let you know. So I don't really have anyone and I have to go and now, um, you know, find more subjects who can come play with me um, uh, and my LAUSD colleagues who are here and they have to come and help me out later on. So once I have enough team members, I can of course call. But right now I only have this, pers uh, this person, uh, you know, for to Zawin and that's it. So if I were to meet, I will click on meet and here again. I have a, video, a, a window, a meeting window, and I can go ahead and turn off mute. I'm going to turn it off because I don't want to hear the, um, the Rosanna, echo. Rosanna, we don't see what you're referring to. And what do you the see? The main now? general post files. I see. So if All you right. had a pop-up come up, we didn't see that. That's right. Okay, I'm going to find that pop up again. Here we go. How about now? Can you see this pop up meeting yes. in general? Very good. So now here it says choose your audio and video settings. So if I were to say something, I can just type up something. All right. So your title of the meeting, if you want, once I'm ready, and you can, of course, turn on or turn off your 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 audio you can click on join now i'm not going to go in deep into it because i really need to um uh, you know i just want to show you the little taste of it so now i am here 
in a meeting and I'm going to close it, I can invite, invite people to join me. So if I am going to invite people, do you remember the, the little in, uh, uh, meeting details that I showed you? It's hidden. Is it, the true to be dull? It should be right up there on the top left or top right or somewhere. It should say your meeting ID number is such and such. But in this case, Microsoft Teams doesn't have it like that. So you have to click on the three dots. Once you click on the three dots, you will see meeting details. So once you click on the details, here it is. It tells you the conference ID is 352-628-696. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And now, one second, I am copying in and I'm pasting it here. Oh, so now, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna do this here. I'm gonna copy and paste it for you guys. That is not good. Copy to key, clipboard. If you were, can you see my, um, what screen do you see now? I'm, I'm having a hard time with these, the delay. Melinda, can we you? We see a picture of you that says invite people to join. Um, to yes. the right is a button copied to clipboard. Okay, that's good then. Yes, okay. So now I just type in the, the code for all of you. I don't know if you can see it in the chat. The conference ID number is 352-628-696. So if, I, if you were to join me, hopefully you, can, you guys can join. But those of you who don't have any Microsoft team connect, uh, you know, if you don't have any Microsoft team, then don't worry about joining it. But at least I, um, since, wait a minute, Penny is here. If Penny or Anthony or Melinda can join, maybe one or two people can join. I, I want to um, see what, you know, I want to share with someone. <laughs> can we get some cheat sheets for all of this? I still print out those and tape them up, especially if we need. That's actually a good idea. Yes, I would love to do that when I have a, you know, detail in a, a, a Microsoft Teams workshop. So I, it will be really nice to do that. Yes, for now, I really want to give you a taste of each and every tools, you know, what they can do. So right now I have no participants and I have, um, actually, I can show conversations if I were to um, do it. So if you can give me a minute or two, I would like to go ahead and join from my iPad to show it to you. I am here and I'm going to go ahead and see. Meanwhile, if you are here, if you're looking at my screen, you can click on chat and you can type just like the Google Meet is. And now let's go in here and see. I cannot join from my, I have an internet issue in here on my iPad. Let me try again. So meanwhile, let's go over all these meeting controls. So I mentioned this is participant on the top left, well, top center like area where you can see if you have any participants. And if you have any conversation, if you wish to talk anything, then you can check, click on chat. Next to it is raise hand. And so as you can see, I have I, 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 I have the same icon just like Google Meet and Google's, uh, sorry, Zoom has. And then more actions, uh, sorry, more options allow you to have um, anything that you want. If I were to turn on live captions, I can do that. And I noticed in the chat, somebody asked a question. If you record the meetings, where does the file go? Excellent question. It is not that great like um, Google where you can find it under Google. Uh, drive, but Microsoft Teams actually does not save the recorded video, the recorded video in OneDrive. Unfortunately, it saves in here, uh, which I cannot show you because I'm in a wrong one. It's called Stream, Google Stream. It shows in Google Stream. So that's how the um, uh, you know, that's where it is. The, uh, uh, what I'm saying is that's where the video is, is show, is, is saved. So that is something you might want to remember um, that, you know, that Google 
uh, sorry, Microsoft team, you have to dig in through it to see where your video is. So just Persona, remember. We're, we're having some problems with the code. Um, a couple of people have tried and they're getting yes. an error that they cannot join this team with that code. Okay, let's see here. Sure. Let's go back to here. And it, are you using your LAUSD team? <laughs> Yes, that's true. So if I someone forgot. doesn't have the LAUSD domain, would they be able to connect? I, excellent question. But at this time, I doubt it because, well, yeah. oh, well let's find out. No, I cannot give you anything. I, I have two LAUSD people here. Can you, or three, can you guys go ahead and test it for me, please? Gary yep. has tried and he can't. Okay, so for um, I Mimi could, has tried and cannot. Penny, are you there? Or maybe can, can you tell me? I can I cannot see anything in here at all. So that's this is the only number I have. It says conference ID is three five two six two eight six nine six. Can you put pound sign at the end? Let's can, test it, please. And can you copy join info and just paste it whatever is in oh, the chat? Yes. Okay, I could do that. Just Hold to on see. One sec. The, Yes, let's see. Give me a minute, please. Because I see a problem. Because when I paste it, it gives you the whole. Yep, it's exactly the same. Um, I just copied and pasted. No, it's so it is giving the uh, the whole thing, Melinda. It doesn't copy everything. It is it's co it copied this gibberish. Watch, you see the gibberish? Oh <laughs> my goodness. Yes, so so it is a, it's an issue. But on my screen, it says, you know, the number is 352-628-696, pound sign. Can you put a pound sign, please? Next, after 696, 352-628-696, pound. Okay, I just typed it up for you. Let's see if you can. It does not, it doesn't make it work either. No. Um, I have no other uh, <laughs> answer to it. <laughs> Did Penny leave me already? Can I someone? Think, I think she's play? trying. I think everyone's trying right now. Yeah, that's what it tells me on my meeting. I don't have any other way to give you other meeting number. <laughs> so the meeting doesn't work. I mean, okay. I didn't work. Click All on right. the link. That's Hang on. On the link. Hang on. Oh boy. Hang on just a sec, folks. So there is within that lot that gibberish that Farzana <laughs> pasted. Hang on just a sec. I'm going to paste it in the link in the chat. So I'm going to hit here we go. So I it looks like a bunch of junk, but click on it and see what happens. What was that? I'm trying with my... Ah, Anthony Burek is waiting in the lobby. Penny's waiting Excellent. in the lobby. Yes. There so, we go. Wow, the code didn't work. So it has to be a link. So view lobby. And if you can see, if you are still uh, watching my screen, I, I just, I have not admitted uh, Penny or Anthony, but you can see under the participants, under the participants, just like Zoom, you can click on who is here, who is trying to join. As you can see, I have Barry, but and, and then I have Anthony and Estella. So if I were to allow one by one, then I click on that person's name, click, 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 right? Or if I were to allow everybody, I can click admit all. But I would like your attention over here. I have three people without me having to admit. I really want your attention here now. Those of you who are trying or who, if you're trying, just wait for a minute. Take a look at my screen, please. I have Barry Bakin. Aida Guerrero and Mimi Yang. Those people are my colleagues. They are from LAUSD. They are within my district and they did not need my permission. I gave them the code, they came in or they clicked on the link, they simply came in. However, the rest of you are outside of my uh, my organization so i need to give you guys permission to come in so that is one thing you might want to take a look at it once i click on admit all as you can see on my screen people just 
just popped in, right? So that's pretty cool. So what, um, let me close it here. So I don't want to have too many windows. All right, so it says just <laughs> pop in right there. So I have a live caption on. So as you can see, I have my turn uh, live caption on. So it says here, <laughs> you can all see the captions. And if I were to turn off the live captions, I will simply click on the three dots, the more options dot, and I will turn off the live options. And if I were to show my camera, turn on my camera, I can do that because my bandwidth right now is not that great. So I'm not going to turn it on. And the rest of you, and if you are able to um, check, click on chat, can someone chat with me, please? And so we can all see it. I am admitting people. So the truth to be told, if you can see you can you 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 know you have very few, you have very what do you call it few tools over here to look through it they're all right on the top right so just go ahead and do that let's see i'm going to type hi everyone and i just typed it and can someone type it back to me or is it not working It's interesting. It, I cannot get anything. So I wonder if had if it has to do with me having you know a Zoom webinar and chatting. I do not. I can't say. So we may have um, to see. Penny cannot see the chat on her end. You cannot see chat on. Uh, she okay. So it means you have no chat. So if you were not given that. Um, I, uh, but it is for everybody. But I think. Penny hmm. cannot see chat. So that mean is that mean the same for everybody? You it do not see chat? Um, Anna says it won't let me type. I see the chat, but it won't let me type. I, I think it has to maybe because you guys are also joining Zoom webinar. Yeah. Zoom webinar. So you can only have one at a time. But I Your am keyboard hosting. is only recognized by one platform. And one platform. because you were in Zoom first. It grabbed a hold of you. <laughs> so it's letting you be in Teams, but the rest of you is in Zoom. Yeah, so that means you better not join Microsoft Teams while you are in Zoom meeting. And when they are asking your question, you won't be able to do anything. So, but at least just for the sake of showing you that the, the controls, meeting controls, I brought you all here or some of you here. And so maybe we can, you can just see all these tools. So if I were to share the content, the cool thing is I'm sharing a content within the content. So now let's take a look at the, uh, let's see if I were to share this content, a Microsoft whiteboard. Why don't I go ahead and share the Microsoft whiteboard? And as um, can you see the whiteboard? Sort of, right? It says here, do you want to present or collaborate? So just like Zoom, if you are the only host, want to only you want to doodle, then you say present. But if not, you can just allow everyone to edit. So that is how you can do that. So now anyone can edit. So you can stop others from editing the whiteboard at any time in the settings menu. As you can see, somebody is already um, playing with it. And if I don't want anyone, I will just turn it off. So right now, go ahead. Do whatever you want. Hello, Farzana and Melinda. So some of you are typing. Some of you are texting. Uh, 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 doodling. So pretty good, right? That's your whiteboard. You do not need to go out uh, of, of the uh, Zoom meeting to, um, oh, sorry, Microsoft Teams or anywhere. You can just use the, micro, uh, the whiteboard right in there. So that's something that you might want to do. And if I do not want anyone to um, do it anymore, you just go click on settings or I can simply stop presenting. So I will stop presenting it. That's the share content button that we just went over. After on the bar uh, on the bottom, if you are under chat, please always pay attention on the bottom where that's the area where you can type. Very similar to Zoom, right? So once you are ready and you need to leave, do you remember? In my meeting controls PowerPoint, I mentioned that you can click on the down arrow. You as a host can leave and leave the team members continue to talk, or I can simply end the meeting. So once I click end the meeting, 
hopefully not like Google Meet, that it's not sticky, that we can just simply end the meeting. So what I'm about to do now is I will click on end meeting and it says you will end the meeting for everyone. If I change my mind, of course, I'll click on cancel. If I don't change my mind and I'm sure, I will cl simply click end. As you can see, I just ended um, this uh, Google, sorry, Microsoft Teams uh, uh, meeting. Once I'm ready with it, I will, I will simply close and I am done with Microsoft Teams. I only have seven minutes left and I still do want, I still want to go over um, Zoom, but not much because we are already in Zoom. So is there any question? I notice people have chats happening, so I'm not sure what's happening, Melinda. Um, just a, a quick reminder, everybody, Farzana was having us in two different platforms. You will rarely, if ever, be doing that with your students. <laughs> That's okay. right. <laughs> so she's just doing it so that you can see and hear her at the same time. Uh, we couldn't think of a way to get you into Zoom and then, okay, everybody quit this, go to meet. Okay, everybody quit this, go to uh, Teams. Now everybody quit that and go to Zoom. It was just easier to keep you there. So Farzana, all of the questions in the chat were related basically to what was going wrong with Teams while they nice. were in Zoom. I so, see. Okay. Okay. Nothing thank really you, to thank answer. You. Okay. Uh, very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. And, and the rest of you, please, I just want to remind, remember, this is just a taste. You are just getting a chocolate taste, like varieties of taste, you know, and then right now you're getting a taste of each one. Those of you who really didn't take time or haven't taken time to take a look at each platform, I just, you know, offer this this with you just enough for you to see what it is what what is what and definitely if you are interested in more we can definitely have more workshop on that and detail workshop on that with you know um, uh, with everything that we can go over so if since we have uh, six minutes left and i would like to go over zoom what does uh what you know since you already are in zoom so we, we definitely know Zoom is a video conference app, right? It allows you to set up meetings, which you already have been doing, which you have been doing with your students or your colleagues or your, even with your, your friends or family or relatives, right? We, we can get all these um, Zoom meetings. Nowadays, Zoom is it's, it's, it's everywhere. So you can do all kinds of things, screen sharing and many collaborative capabilities. It has a lot of stuff. And Zoom does not need an account to join. It is true for most of our, all of our students, right? Or if you're a teacher, if you're a teacher, they don't need to, to have an account. They simply go and click on the link or give, the, uh, give them the ID number and voila, they will be in your room, in your Zoom room. That's, what, that's how it is, right? So then Zoom supports all platforms and devices. It's true, you have a Windows, you can download Zoom. You have MacBook, no problem. You can go ahead and download Android phones, iOS phone, no problem. So the Zoom has all kinds of you know uh, uh, platforms ready for you. So you cannot say, oh, I cannot join. Even with the Chromebook, you Zoom is 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 there. So one cool thing about Zoom, of course, I I believe I mentioned it to you that I like Zoom a lot, and Zoom gives me quite a lot of stuff: whiteboard, annotation, breakout rooms, screen sharing, polling, and these are some of the great features of Zoom, right? So that's something that you might want to uh, you already know. So you might want to you know uh, just refresh that I'm mentioning it to you after showing Google Meet and Microsoft Teams that, uh, you know, Zoom also has all these Zoom uh, meeting controls. Most of you are familiar with Zoom because according to the polls that you have used, you know, Zoom one way or another or attended a meeting. So in that case, let's quickly take a look at this Zoom meeting controls as what you are looking at is the host meeting controls only if you are the host when you are if you are the host of course you will have mute start video and then you are going to have security this shield that is um, similar to uh, google meet has but of course this security also tells you the meeting um, whether you can allow the people to share or whether you want to lock 
the meeting, whether you want people to just join in without waiting, without waiting in the waiting room, that sort of it. Okay, so that's the security, and I believe you know the the the. Um, the tools and the features that they have under Zoom security, they are, they are in the right place, not all over everywhere. That's one cool thing about um, Zoom is participants. And of course, right now, I screenshot, you know, a screenshot it while I was alone in there. So that means only one participant. In your case, if you are wondering how many participants are here in this workshop, you simply look at Zoom participants and right now you can see 22 people. So we have polls and chat, polls you did already, chat we are very much familiar with, share screen, which I am doing now, the screen is being shared, record button, and of course, if you are the host, and depends on your organization setting, if you are the host and a teacher, you may only be allowed to record to the... And we did have something come up in the chat about the live captions. Um, it, can they be used for taking minutes? Uh, yes, but it depends. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, it, sometimes some people are not comfortable uh, reading their own, <laughs> what do you call it, the, reading their own captions, their, their own words. And then I, do, I did notice one thing about live uh, transcript is that um, depends on the person. If the person talks louder and clearer, that's what it's going to pick up. It's so uh, I noticed that it is not accurate. So when I had a tea, a meeting of, uh, of, uh, last uh, week ago, um, what happened was that I always talk loud, as you know, and I talk loud. And then what happened was my voice was all taken, and yet the the host voice was not taken. So that means they were are not that accurate. So and, and it will say, you know, instead of me saying Farzana Kasim says this. This, it would say Barry Bakin said that even though Barry looked at the, the, the transcript and Barry would say, no, I did not say that. That was from Farzana. So when it happens, that means I, I see it as it's inaccurate. So uh, be mindful of it. And if you are you using live transcript, it's good. But if it is, um, if somebody were to read the transcript and it will not make sense because who is saying what, right? That's sort of it. So that's something about live transcript you might want to pay attention to. So next one is breakout rooms, my favorite, one of the favorite tools that we have uh, that um, Zoom has. That's breakout rooms and, and something that we, um, we always use, teachers like to use, especially with um, our ESL um, classes. And reactions, and um, Zoom is adding more reactions. So reactions such as happy, love, like, all those type of things, or you know that 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 we use um, often in our um, cell phones and mobile devices. So that's some uh, that's uh, one of the uh, uh, cool thing about Zoom meeting controls have. The last one is end. If you want to end the meeting as a host, you simply click on end meeting and then the whole meeting will be will will end just like um, we just went over right <laughs> the meeting got um, ended prematurely so but no matter what we are back here so we are pretty cool okay now so. If I'm looking at the chat, I want to ask about the live captions and they can be used for taking minutes. So I believe it's sort of answered um, in here. And um, if there are no other questions on the chat and the q and I want to show you one last thing about uh, just quickly, you know, show you the, the three meeting controls of the three video conferencing apps. Team, uh, sorry, meet, the, the the two one or uh, the two white ones on the top is uh, you know that that's meet that meeting controls from meet google meet the one in the middle is teams or the meeting controls the one on the bottom is zoom so that's you know at least i give you a taste of, I'm sure you already got a taste of it when you were using it, but for this webinar, I give you a taste of all these three um, uh, video conferencing apps and their, how their meeting controls uh, look alike. And my final thoughts, every app or software 
have security holes, whether they are discovered or not, right? So there is no such thing as 100%. They boast, companies love, love to boast, but they have holes, security holes. Share content, definitely. All those three um, platforms allow you to share content. Do you, uh, if you are looking at from the view of teachers, you might want to look into whiteboard and annotation. Do they have whiteboard and annotation? Zoom definitely does. Meet, you have to go to Jamboard. They don't, they, they, it's not built in. It, it is another, that's why I put a little dash Jamboard. So remember whiteboard, there is no whiteboard. They call it whiteboard, gem, whiteboard as Jamboard. Then Teams also has whiteboard, which we practice a little bit, right? Which we doodled a little bit. Recording, all three of them will allow you to record. The question is, where are they? Zoom, you have two choices. It depends on your organization's settings, either locally or cloud. You can save your, you can record it either locally as in your computer or cloud. Save it to the cloud. You have to go to the Zoom setting and you will find all your videos and download and share whatever you want. Meet, on the other hand, will allow you to record, but it will be under um, stream. They call it stream, S-T-R-E-A-M. If you are curious, find out Microsoft stream, like a streaming videos. It will be under stream. All your all our organizations have it. So look into that, please. And Teams, te uh, sorry, Google Meet will be under Google Drive. I made a mistake. Um, uh, the recording of Google Meet will be under Google Drive. The recording of uh, Microsoft Teams, the videos will be under stream. So just, just you know, please take notes if you're uh, taking notes. Chat, all three of them offer that. Breakout rooms, Zoom definitely has it. Google Meet for education customers only. So Google Meet has breakout rooms, but when I last tested it, I even though I'm using an education customer account, I did not see it, I could not get it. And Teams, they, they, they recommended that they, they, you know, they mentioned that they will get it in November, but today is the December 1st, perhaps the you know, production is not done yet. So that's what it is. Virtual backgrounds, of course, all three of them allow you. And then, and, and of course, the cool thing about Google Meet and Google Teams, if you are a Google, heavy duty Google user, then all your files, Google Doc, Google Sheets, Google Slides, all those things can be used within the Google Meet. And Teams, if you are a heavy duty user of Office 365, your Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on and so forth will be within your, your Teams um, uh, you know, reach. Then, Live captioning, all three of them offer that. And something, um, since this is my final thoughts, here is my, my a few of these are my complaints. Um, Teams is a little bit uh, sluggish, still one day it works, the next day it doesn't. And they're updating here and there, and then we don't know what updates or what happened when. So it may be like, today I may be saying something and then a new thing may pop up last night, which I did not know. Things can happen. That is the reason I call it a bit sluggish. And it is also inconsistent across all devices. So some tools are here and there and depends on your device and depends on the uh, you know uh, OS system operating system that you are using it's so it is still inconsistent user interface uh, in terms of Microsoft Teams their interface is not friendly when I showed you guys it was a blank you know whitish blank look but that's good. But once you start typing and chat with your team, it's all covered up and it's all messy. And the truth to be told, their tools are all over. And then some of them, they even repeat, you know, the same tools available in two, three places. It's really disorganized in my opinion, in terms of teams. But nonetheless, remember, I mentioned that to you since this is being recorded. I am an educator uh, and an open-minded person. So I would still see, what you know, each one can do, and who knows, I may come to like it, and then I may enjoy using one over the other. So 
no local recording and need to find it on the stream, not on OneDrive. In case if you're wondering what stream, it is Microsoft Stream. So if you were to look for your recording, go to Microsoft Stream and you log in with your account, you shall find your videos. Overlapping features, way too many tools, which I already mentioned. And in terms of Google Meet, video quality is not that great because um, I noticed that whether you, you know, even though I have great internet uh, connection and the quality is not as great as Zoom quality is. So these are my final, final thoughts. And I just, you know, have to say it out loud. So that concludes my workshop. And um, thanks for a lot of uh, thanks for staying with us. And um, those of you who will be watching uh, this video again, and I really thank you for staying uh, with us, uh, even though I had so many hiccups <laughs> in this um, workshop. And thank you so much for your time.